You can add a heel, a toe, and a name background to the one hour stocking, which will make it a little more traditional. Fold your fabric with the right sides together. Lay your pattern on the fabric with the arrow along the lengthwise threads. Pin your pattern down and cut it out. This is your main stocking piece. You use it to cut the outside of your finished stocking from your main fabric, and you also use it to cut out your stocking lining. I'm using the red and white stripes for my main fabric and the solid red for all the contrasting pieces. The lining is sewn together, front and back, the right sides still together. Once that's complete, set it aside. Before you stitch the main body of the stocking together, Place whichever additional pieces of the name background, the toe, the heel, or all of them, and stitch them onto the stocking front and back. Place and stitch ribbon and embellishments to cover the raw edges of the additional pieces that you've added. When it's completely the way you want it to look, on the front and the back, you'll stitch that front and back together, which puts the embellishments into the seam, and that makes it a lot stronger. Once you have the main body of the stocking stitched together, cut a piece of ribbon about 5 inches long, fold it in half and stitch it to the back seam of the stocking with it pointing toward the heel to create the hanger. When you fold the top to enclose the raw edges, the hanger will stick up the right direction. If you feel unsure about this, hold the hanger in place and fold the seam like it's going to be once it's stitched down and then you can see if you like the way it's going to turn out. Press the seams open all the way around the stocking. It makes completing the stocking much easier later. Also, fold the top raw edge to the wrong side and press it down about a half an inch. Then do the same for the lining.
turn the stocking so the right side of the stocking is facing out. Put the lining inside the stocking. Line up the back seams. Pin it all the way around and stitch it down. Then you can press it again if it needs it and you're finished. The basic pattern of fabric stockings is largely the same. Differences in fabric and embellishments determine the final look, so just experiment and have fun.